It's more dangerous than tobacco smoke because it is so prolific. Pollution has killed about 8 to 10 million people a year now, and that's attributed directly to air pollution. I wanted to include a section on air pollution in the book, and in the end I didn't for a couple of reasons, but the, the biggest reason was I couldn't get a really clear sense of the mortality impact. I couldn't quantify it the way I could quantify it for you know, smoking, obesity, and some of these other things. So coupled with the fact that the book was already about 50% yeah. longer than anybody yeah. wanted it yeah. to be. Um, yeah. But do, do you have a sense of the magnitude of this? And yeah. again, even quantifying yeah. the exposure is a little different. Yes. It's not like uh, pack yeah. years of cigarettes where we can say 40 pack year history versus zero pack year history translates to this much difference in in outcome. Yeah, actually now, Peter, you can. The WHO just put a report out. The AQLI just put a report out from University of Chicago. I'll send it to you. I want to make sure you have this because you have such a wide, amazing opportunity to influence people through your bandwidth. And Peter, I, th I feel like you are in this incredible position to make this impact with others. You are a trusted voice. And because of that comes the privilege of being a trusted voice, but also that accountability and responsibility of knowing all the science. And so what I'll do is send you this report because it has now been put into exactly those terms. And it's more dangerous than tobacco smoke because it is so prolific. And I'll give you this report because in the first page, it shares with you the context of how pollution has killed about eight to 10 million people a year now. And so, and that's attributed directly to air pollution. And what is the final common pathway? Is it majority through cardiovascular disease, cancer? Where, where do we think the, the actual mortality comes from? Especially in low to middle income countries, it's, uh, it's cardiovascular disease and lung disease. In quote unquote, more westernized countries, it's more associated with stroke, long-term cardiovascular disease, and cancer. So I'll send you this. I'll, I'll get it yeah, for you, please. Peter, because it, I, I think it's important for you to know, thanks to a lot of science, that you can disaggregate what deaths are due to air pollution versus what deaths are due to tobacco smoke, right? Because it's there's a multiplicity of effect here. But now the epidemiologists really have the data right, and you can sink your teeth into this data and know that it's accurate. Mm -hmm.